Hey guys, it's Lego Channel 62. Today, I'm finally happy to tell you guys we have gotten our set images for Lego Dimensions Wave 9. I'm so happy with these. These look so cool. And before we get into this, I just want to tell you guys I'm really sad to say that this will get released on September 12th. So, it's going to get released on September 12th, not um, before. So, it's kind of going to be like, I guess the start to year three, even if there is going to be year three, because like I mentioned, this is going a little wonky now, and so we're not entirely sure there is a year three, but hopefully there is, and this is just going to prompt it up. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. We have the Beetlejuice Fun Pack. This pack looks really cool. I do really like it. We have Beetlejuice and Side and Sandworm, which is really cool. Um, Side of Sandworm will be able to rebuild into the haunted vacuum and the spooky spider which I really like. I like its curved part and the set has 56 pieces and with Beetlejuice is 5 pieces and then plus the standard for the stand worm that would be 6 and it would leave the sand worm to have 50 pieces so and if we look at the sand worm it doesn't actually have a 2x2 two two round um, plate underneath it so um, instead of that, it has a 2 by 3 plate and beige, and I really like how it's curved and everything, how they made it, um, striped black and white, and then at the front, there's a head inside the head, just like in the movie, so I really like that, I really like the Beetle's minifig design, and I like on the front with Beetlejuice and the Adventure World, so that's pretty cool, um, yeah, so we move on to the next set, which is the Teen Titans Go Team Pack. Then the Fun Pack, then the Powerpuff Girls Team Pack, Fun Pack, then we'll look at some in-game pictures. So here we have the Teen Titans Go Team Pack. This is set number 71255. It comes with 105 pieces. And we have two mini figures with Raven and Beast Boy. Each holding an accessory, Raven with lightning, Beast Boy with a banana. Beast Boy has a cool um, new head mold, or not head mold, but hair mold. And... I think these characters look really good and very accurate to the show. The only thing is I don't really like how they have a cartoonish look, but I still think it's really accurate, and that's what matters, in my opinion. So then we have the T-car, which can be, be built into the forklift and the T-plane, and, and I really like this build. It's really cool, in my opinion. Um, it has the blue design, the headlights, and the back wheel is bigger than the front. And I honestly really like this. It just looks pretty cool to me. And... How it even has that red um, backrest on the um, back of that. And yeah, so that's really cool. Next we have the Raven Spell Book. I really like this black and blue design. Well, mostly black. And this is going to be rebuilt into the giant hand and raven wings. And I'm, gonna, um, I'm actually pretty excited to see how they create that. Um... But anyways, this is a pretty cool design. I like how they made it so that the, it's a book, and then out of it is coming some spells. And I'm really curious to see how they turn this into a hand. But yeah, so that's it for this team pack. We'll move on to the fun pack, and then the Powerpuff Girls, and then some in-game pictures. So let's go right into that. So here we have the Starfire fun pack set number 71287. It's 56 pieces, and then... From the Starfire and the Titan Robot. So Starfire looks pretty cool. She looks like the Yogurt Land one, except with a different hair piece. I love her pink hair, green skin. Everything um, looks exactly like she does in the show. And it looks, this looks like an animated version of the one from Yogurt Land with a different hair piece. I really, I would really like to see her hold some round green translucent discs to kind of be as her magic. And yeah, so then we got Titan Robot, which will be rebuilt into the T-Rocket and the Robot Retriever. I think this looks pretty cool, and how they use that Lego minifigure helmet piece, except that instead of using a minifigure head, they use some studs to create that face. I, w I would have kind of liked it better also if they um, used a head with some printing, but it's still good. Um, this Titan Robot looks awesome, has a T on it, looks exactly like it did from the show. And in the show, they had it where um, they would each go in a certain part of it, and yeah, and they would fire it. So, either way, this looks like a really cool pack. I'm pretty excited to get it. And yeah, so we'll move on to the Powerpuff Girls, and then some in-game um, looks at these packs right after this. 
So here we have the Powerpuff Girls team pack that comes with Blossom, Bubbles, Octi, and the Powerpuff Girls smartphone. Powerpuff Girls smartphone looks really cool, like the red and white design on it, and has a face that looks pretty cool. And it's going to be able to rebuild in the game to the Powerpuff Girls hotline and the Powerpuff magnet. And overall, this build looks really cool, like how they have a flower on top, and it has a face, kind of like a kitty um, fake phone. And then we have Octi, which is Bubbles Octopus. And I'm glad these two um, have some 2x2 round plates on them. And this looks really cool. I like how they made it. Um, I really like how they use those eyes things on some of the little mixels, except they created it in a different colors, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I like the just the build in general and of Octi, how they made it. Um, the right colors and it just looks so much like the actual thing and this will be able to get rebuilt into the sonic squid and the super skunk it's kind of a funny name but looking at the blossom and bubbles minifigures i think they look really cool i like um the picture at the top of blossom and bubbles soaring into the sky out of townsville that looks really cool um I like how in the sanders um we have bubbles, it says zap and blossom. It says, um, I think it was pow or bam, one of those. And they just, the characters look really cool. I really like how they have a shoe print. But the eyes look a little bit fake, but, you know, it's the Powerpuff Girls and it's animated. But overall, I think those head designs and the new head molds just fit the Powerpuff Girls exactly how they're supposed to. And they look so cool. So without any, um, Without any more waiting, we'll get right into the next Powerpuff Girls pack, with, which is the Buttercup Fun Pack. So here we have the Powerpuff Girls Fun Pack, set number 71343, comes with 56 pieces, just like the Beetlejuice Fun Pack. And we have Buttercup and the Mega Blast Bot. This looks pretty cool. Um, so, first of all, we have Buttercup. This is a pretty cool minifigure, like how her stand is says, BAM on it and the new head mold the eyes again look a little fake but I think it's okay the green um, on her chest looks pretty cool and we also have the mega blast spot which will be able to be rebuilt into the slamming guitar and um, some kind of cannon I forget what it was called it was some kind of cannon. So, anyways, this looks like a really cool build, and it's called a Mega Blast Bot. It looks like it has a kind of gun thing that at the blast or the head. So, it looks like a pretty cool build, but I don't like it that much. It just looks like with the, all the light green, dark green, um, basically filling the whole thing. Kind of looks like a giant booger or something. But I do really like it. It's just that, um. Just that the colors don't really go with the design, in my opinion. I think it's a really good design, just that the colors don't go well with it. Um, but, yeah, so it looks really cool. And, yeah, so, um, next we'll move on to some screenshots in-game. I'm really excited to show you this. It shows them in-game plus their adventure worlds. And I haven't told you at the start that these will be coming out September 12th. So, anyways, we'll get right into those. And yeah, so we'll do that. So we'll first get a screenshot of him in the adventure world with a sandworm, a sudden sandworm. And it looks pretty cool. I really like this. I got at the front of the adventure world near the portal. And then next we've got um, Beetlejuice with the mini scale model of the town in Adam and Barbara's house. I think that looks really cool. Um, I was really excited to see this and if you were able to enter it. And guessing my next picture, I think you are. Because we could see Beetlejuice and the um, mini scale model at his grave, which looks pretty cool, and I do like that. And next we have him in the Adventure Time Adventure World and in the DC Comics Adventure World, which looks pretty cool, standing with Harley Quinn and Joker, and the other one he's standing with some Adventure Time characters, just like in DC Comics. And then we have some of him in the um, waiting room of the dead, and we could see him with a skeleton and that guy with the really small head. I'm glad they created him. I was really looking forward to seeing how he looked in the game. 
And we can also see he's standing up in the waiting room. We can see a lot of characters in the background, which look pretty cool. And then finally, we can see a screenshot that shows Beetlejuice close, a uh, close up um, of him standing inside his grave, which I really like. So that's pretty cool. And next, we'll move on to the Power of Girls and the Dinosaur Go um, in game pictures. We get this picture of Raven with, um, well, actually, there's no one, but in the background, we can see a brain tower, and we can also see that there is. A um, DK Aqua Lad building in the background, which looks pretty cool. Next, we've got a picture of Raven fighting Mammoth by the Hive Tower. Look, the Hive Tower looks exactly like it does in the show, like the cartoon animation and everything. So that's pretty cool. And then we could see um, Raven and Beast Boy in the G Tower together. Raven's got a spell book out. And we could see a picture of Starfire that's flying above the city. He's by the Brain Tower. And the um, Rocky Doodle Amusement Park. And then we'll see in this next picture um, Starfire on the T Bot. And I really like how in the game the T Bot has a face printing. And that looks pretty cool. And then we could also see in this next picture Starfire flying through the city again. And this time she's flying by high, um, Jump City High School and the. Um, Brain Tower, as you can see in the background, so that's pretty cool. I really like this. And in the final picture, we see Raven chasing Beast Boy, and we can see Raven's flying animation, which is pretty cool. I'm really excited for these packs. We know that Raven is gonna have magic walls, flight, magic, and magic shield. And I really like her new magic walls ability. So I hope Starfire will have stuff like that, like magic, magic shield, and then we'll also have flight. I can't wait to see the Robin Cyborg in-game versions for King Can't Go. Um, I'll also make a video when we find out about that. And I really hope that Beast Boy is going to have um, either a big transformation, yeah, probably big transformation, and the shape shift ability. So I really hope that happens, and that, that would be pretty cool. But anyways, that's it for King Go. Now let's move on to the Power Girls. And then we get a look at the Power Puff Girls. So first of all, we have... All three of them running in the street, and we can see um, another character in the background. And then we have the three Powerpuff Girls. I think it looks like they're in a kind of garage area, and we see Bubbles drawing a heart. And then we get our first look. I'm not sure if anybody knows this, but we get our first look at one of the rebuilds. I'm pretty sure, and this rebuild is probably the second. This might not be the rebuild. I'm just guessing because. The actual build looks kind of like a um, cell phone, but this one looks more like an actual like play phone. So I'm guessing this will be the second rebuild, which is the Powerpuff Girls Hotline. And I'm so glad I noticed this because without if I didn't notice that, we wouldn't have got our um, nobody would have noticed that we got our first look at one of the rebuilds. But that's pretty cool. In the final picture, we just see. Just like in the Beetlejuice picture, all three of them standing right at the front of the Powerpuff Girls Adventure World. And I like how all these pictures have all the Powerpuff Girls in it. But I think that'll be it for the video. And by the way, I do really like the Powerpuff Girls um, gateway. So, yeah, so I hope, I like, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what you think about this. I really thought that one of these should have been a level pack because all we're getting is three fun packs, two team packs, and this is going to be September 12th. We don't have to wait that long, we don't even get a single fun pack. But either way, um, without another way, thank you guys for watching and see you guys later on Lego Channel 62.